What's going on, everyone? Efren here at Evolution Diagnostics. And today we just happened to be working on this pickup truck 2004 Chevy Colorado. And the reason the truck is in the shop is because the owner complains of a lower motor blowing only on high speed. Although right now it's working on all modes, as you can see. But Yesterday, when I got the truck inside the shop, the blower motor switch was not blowing on first or second or third speed, only on fourth. And, you know, this morning that, that I came in, Tested it again and realized that now it's working properly, but I cannot. I have worked on this before, and you know what? I'm suspecting a bad blower motor resistor or a burnt blower motor resistor connector. That's very common on these trucks. So, we're gonna find out and see what's going on with it. And I'm looking at that resistor harness and it looks like somebody replaced it already. I can see it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop our connector. Let's get it out of there. Ah. All right. Yeah, somebody replaced this connector already. Oh, oh yeah. You see guys? See that brownish color on those two wires in the center? Yep, our connector is shut. So that's why it's, that's why he's doing that. Not blowing any air at the low speeds, but rather high speeds. And this is why, look at it. So what's happening is, is these burnt terminals, these two right here are causing a faulty connection. And that is why the blower motor is not working as the, as it should or the way it should. And this is why, so I guess I'm gonna have to order a new, um, lower motor resistor and a new pigtail connector from Chevy so when I get it when I get those two pieces uh, I'm gonna I guess record while I replace those two so I will be back all right, so we got the parts to order. Good thing my local GM dealer had them in, on the shelf. So if you guys want to order it, this is the part number for um, the pigtail connector. This is what you get for uh, shrinking butt connectors. 
this is the part number for our um, lower motor resistor um, I'm surprised the dealer had them on the shelf because most of the time they don't stock anything unless it's something that sells like hotcakes so these two pieces must be one of those all right well we're gonna strip those wires away remove that burn connector and uh, put the new one in so since I'm recording with my phone today I'm gonna have to put the phone in a way where I can maneuver and I can record at the same time I'm just trying to figure it out way like that all right so for that you need pliers electrical pliers like these wire strippers and lighter and a little bit of patience get started here are our four uh, web connectors let's go ahead and cut these wires probably have to take a chunk of this material here because this is too long you don't want to leave it that long so let's just look at the measure the length of this connector and the wires and we're gonna leave it at about the same length so let's see shorter I'm gonna cut right here yeah that should do it okay like that Strip the insulation Down like that. Come on. Yeah, like that. One more to go. Like so. And then be careful because you know the old harness is color coded. The new one is not. 
So my advice is go one at a time. Because that way you can remember or you can put the splice the, each wire on its right position. So kind of like that. So this one, our first wire is gonna go to the what is it? Uh, purple, brown? I can't even tell. It looks like purple. So we're gonna kind of go like that. Second one is our blue one. So we're gonna take this one now. Like so. There's some people screaming on the other shop. My neighbors. to go let's jump into our next one which would be our orange
Okay. And our last one. Make sure that when you're crimping these butt connectors, the wire is pushed all the way in. Because, you know, once you crimp it and the wire is not all the way in, you can't really use it again. So pay attention to that. Same thing with this one. is coming out. Come on. Yeah. All right. And then just one by one. Just a lighter. Takes a little bit of time for the material to shrink. Make sure you don't burn something else with a while you're torching them. Just like that. All right, let's go to our next one. have to go around if it's not shrinking uh, evenly go around it with the flame and that should shrink the material sealing properly weather stripping the connection just like just like so just keep going jump into the next one all right don't leave the flame too long because you will uh, ruin the mat the shrinking material and I guess you're gonna have to use some sort of like electric tape because if you destroy the insulation then the The material, the metal, or the connection is going to be exposed, and that would create some sort of, like, you know, malfunction on the lower motor speed because it's going to touch against the others. So, all right, we're going to go into our last one. Nice and easy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but one where the flame is coming in contact with the material, the plastic is shrinking already, but the other side where right heat is not in touch with the shrinking material. 
uh, is not shrinking so that's why I said kind of have to work it around all right should be good and this whole tape it's not good yeah this tape is too old we're gonna put new tape Uh, and double tape is coming apart. Put new one. That shouldn't be an issue. Because this truck is all about issues. Always. Fix one thing, then the next one goes wrong. Never stops. But it's we in the repair community we call these tr trucks the money makers because they're always in the shop something breaks down you gotta fix it i just feel sorry for the owners because they're the ones that are spending the money but, you know, i guess that trucks like this keep me in business which is not a bad thing. All right. So now that we have a good connection, you know, I take the, probably one of the butt connectors. I, I shouldn't have done that, but uh, it's okay. And then just put it back in there. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to swap that resistor. Be right back. And for this job, to replace this blower motor resistor, we need a five, point, uh, five and a half or 5.5 .5 millimeters socket. And for this job, I'm gonna, I used the meanest, baddest, toughest ratchet. Look at this tiny guy. But it sure is handy in tight spaces like this one. Well, this one has plenty of room. But I've seen all these cars here. You can barely fit your hand in there. So this is the perfect ratchet for that task. I mean, I could have just left that resistor in there, but 
I don't trust it anymore. I can see material plastic melted because of heat of that faulty connection. So we're gonna throw it away. And just put a new one in there. Because we don't wanna use that. You might destroy the new connector and have the truck come back later. And we don't want that. So, why don't you get it in? Just try the screws in there. Go back, give it torque. This this screw is torquing, but give it very little torque. It's, uh, it's plastic that is holding these screws and the resistor, so you want to do very little torque. Do not over torque them or use power tools because you can break the the nipples that are sticking out to hold the resistor in place so make sure you don't over torque those little screws and then just plug this connector like so and that's it I should do it let's try it If you guys get a truck like this where the lower motor is not blowing on low speeds only on high uh, check on that uh, resistor and the harness because that might be why the lower motor only works on high speeds. Well, that's it for today. We'll catch you in the next one. Out. <laughs>